Hi, Greg. How are you? Congratulations. I'm doing pretty. Oh, thank you, Janet. Okay, so, um, you, you know, uh, Sprung looks like it's a very comical take on this, on an unusual pandemic story. So tell me about how the whole idea of the story came about. Yeah, well, um, I'd had a, a, a vague notion of an idea about somebody getting released from prison. And uh, and then when the pandemic hit and I saw that uh, they were releasing people early um, because of the virus, I thought this might be a good opportunity to take that idea and run with it and um, and really expand on it. And and I, I was very interested in doing something timely. Um, this was obviously an event that was uh, affecting everybody in the world. But I wasn't very interested in doing like a show about people stuck at home or, you know, Zoom office place or anything like that. Um, I wanted people to have uh, the relatability of the pandemic and and seeing some things that they, you know, that they recognized, uh, especially early on in the pandemic. Uh, but see it through the eyes of some people that were experiencing things that uh, the general public uh, wasn't experiencing. That's good. Interesting. So, you know, I understand it all starts with a good script. So why don't you tell me a bit about your writing process? Yeah, I mean, the way I write is I usually just get the notion of an idea and I sit down and I start uh, hammering things out. Um, sometimes I'll start with characters and just start fleshing out the characters. Other times I'll just do story beats. I mean, I just sit down and, and shotgun as much stuff as I possibly can. Um, in between that, I'm doing a lot of thinking, I'm doing a lot of bike riding and walking and thinking and making notes to myself. And then once I have a combination of things in my head and on the page that I feel like uh, might be worthy of actually starting to write dialogue, I sit down and, and, and I write the script. And then I write a very terrible first version of a script and I share it with friends and they tell me what's good, what's not good, what's confusing, what 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 makes sense. And, uh, and then I'll do a rewrite from there. Interesting. So uh, describe the pitch meeting for Sprung. Um, there wasn't really a pitch meeting for Sprung. What I did was I wrote the script and then we sent the script out to a, a bunch of different places. And uh, that was interested was uh, then called IMBD TV, now called Freebie. And um, and so we I think we just had a discussion on the phone about it or no, maybe we hopped on a on a Amazon Chime and and did a voice, uh, you know, did a did a video chat about about it a little bit. And I probably uh, told them where I thought the show was going to go. I don't really remember too much, actually, to be honest with you. But then the 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 uh, the deal was that I was going to write some more scripts. Um, I didn't I wasn't really interested in, in shooting a pilot. I wanted to go straight to series with this, if possible. So um, I wrote some more scripts. They read those scripts. They liked where I was going with it. And uh, the deal was uh, struck to uh, to do 10 episodes. Very nice. That's very nice. So tell me about the casting process. Were you involved? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm involved in everything. I'm a control freak. Uh, there's nothing I'm not. There's nothing I'm not. Uh, there's nothing I'm not heavily involved in. Um, so Garrett Dillahunt, the lead, uh, was somebody that I I wrote it for. So I knew from the beginning uh, that was my guy there. And uh, and uh, Freebie was excited about uh, him being in the show as well. So that was easy. That got done quickly. And Garrett's also an executive producer on the show. Um, and then from there, we just started having uh, auditions. And um, uh, it was, a, you know, these days it's all done uh, on uh, video. So it's no in-person stuff. And so that's always a little strange. Uh, I prefer to audition in person, but uh, you have to deal with what uh, what the situation gives you. So, um, so yeah, we just started seeing people and picking our selects and people we like, and then we would go over them with Freebie and we were all on the same page and, and we got a fantastic cast. Sounds good. Um, so have you been renewed for a second season? Uh, there's been no discussion of that yet. I mean, I'm sure we have to air and and what have you. And then we have to see if, uh, you know, if there's more stories to tell with these people. Sure. Any thoughts where your characters may go if, if, if it goes further? Not a clue. Really? Interesting. So what surprised you most about making this project? 
What surprised me most? Um, I can't say. I mean, I think I've been I've been doing this long enough that I can't say that there were a lot of any surprises. Uh, there were things that I uh, enjoyed that I'd never uh, done before. I shot outside of Los Angeles. All my shows I've always shot shot in Los Angeles, and this one we shot in Pittsburgh. So I was um, very happy with the uh, aesthetics that we got um, shooting outside of Los Angeles. So that was a treat. Uh, worked with a lot of new people because uh, a lot of the crew was local. So it was. Um, it was, you know, sometimes it's it's you get nervous working with new people that you don't have that comfort zone right away. But uh, but things worked out great. And uh, we shot a great show. We met a lot of great people. And then the other thing that was new for me is working with a streamer. Having after having worked on networks, there's a very tight window of how long a show can be. It's 20 minutes. That's it. You know, it's 20, 20, 21 minutes long. And so you can only tell so much story and you can only do so much. But with a streamer, uh, you don't have those time restraints. So we have episodes that are, you know, 36, 37, 40 minutes long. And uh, so that was a treat. I mean, it's a challenge because you don't have production wise, you don't have that. You don't have double the time to shoot it. Uh, but a lot of times you're shooting double the show. But uh, we managed. And uh, and that was uh, probably one of my favorite things about um, doing this show is the fact that we had that uh, latitude. Sounds great. So... Uh, what was your most memorable moment from the entire process? The most memorable moment from the entire process. Hmm. Um, I would say after 61 days of directing every single day, um, finishing, <laughs> being done. <laughs> being done. Uh, and then heading, knowing that you're heading to editing with a lot of great stuff you shot and um, and that you're going to be able to just kind of relax and sit back and uh, and now put it all together. Uh, uh, that's my most memorable moment is yelling cut for the last time. Interesting. Now, you, you said you shot for 61 days. Did you shoot 61 days straight? Yeah. Yeah. We even shot a couple Saturdays because we had to catch up. Um, on a couple things and we were worried about weather starting to catch up with us. So yeah, it was, uh, we shot it like a movie, um, not like a TV show where we shot, uh, uh, we cross boarded the entire thing. So we could be shooting on the first day, we could be shooting things from episode one, four and 10. It didn't matter. It's just what made sense with the schedule um, and the locations to, to shoot. So uh, it was, uh, it was a lot to keep track of. Sure, it sounds like it. So what's next for you? What's next for me? Yeah. Sit back and watch Sprung on freebie. <laughs> well, and any new projects in the works? Any brilliant ideas coming up? <laughs> well, uh, there's always ideas coming up. And then it's uh, up to a lot of other people besides me to say if they're they're brilliant or not. But uh, but yeah, I, I've always got a stack of ideas that I'm I'm anxious to go uh, try to sell and produce. So we'll just we'll just have to see what happens. Sure. Okay. Relaxing is also a very uh, tempting thing to do as well. It definitely is. Um, all right. Well, Greg, thank you so much. It, the sprung looks great. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Uh, congratulations on it on the series, and uh, you know, best of luck to you. Thank you very much. Thanks for uh, thanks for talking with me today. Oh, you're welcome. Have a great day. Are right, you too? Okay, bye bye.